Hey YouTube, Jim here. Welcome to Top 10 Archive. You know, going to the grocery store may be a necessary behavior in 2019, but in some countries that are living in the future, all of their shopping can be done on a vending machine in the subway ride home. I mean, why interact with other humans for any kind of purchase? And it goes beyond groceries too. No more snacks, drinks, and quick fixes in these machines. Whether you're looking for a new pet, a rather odd additive to your rice, an umbrella, or even vegetables, these super weird vending machines are here to provide it for you. But before we get started, why not become an archivist today by clicking that subscribe button and notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future uploads. If you end up enjoying this video, let us know by giving it a thumbs up and telling us what type of vending machine you'd create. Number 10, Flying Fish Soup. Now, anything that says fish or flying on it doesn't belong in a vending machine. I want a human hand to give me my salmon, my trout, and anything that may or may not have flown at one point. So, of course, this particular vending machine sets off my gag reflex. This isn't even just a flying fish in a bag. It's flying fish soup in a bottle with algae. Apparently, it's regularly used in Japan to flavor food, and people will straight up buy it from a vending machine closest to them. This means someone's mom is putting on her slippers, leaving the pot over easy, and walking to the corner vending machine to pick up an extra bottle of flying fish juices. Nice one, Japan. Number nine, umbrellas. Now, this is something I can get behind, or under, I suppose. Japan wins again with the umbrella vending machine. Whether you're fresh out of umbrellas because you lent yours to your friend who never returned it, or just left yours in another bag, this machine will save your day. Unlike sneaky street salespeople who will increase the price of umbrellas as soon as the storm rolls around, this vending machine has it ready for you anytime and without the markup. Although I would deeply benefit from one of these as a serial umbrella forgetter, I think it's also a deeply enabling machine that will never let me learn. Number 8. Ramen Number 8 is a vending machine that every college in America should be investing in immediately. In fact, we could probably cover tuition prices nationwide if only we put a ramen vending machine in every campus in the country. Upcharge a quarter per pack for the convenience of not leaving your dorm floor and bada bing! You have yourself a business that makes money while you sleep and students drink or study or whatever kids in dorms do at night. What's better is that it isn't your same lame 90 cent ramen at the grocery store. No siree. This is punch in your order and get it hot and fresh like your upscale Japanese place would make it for $9. Number seven, surgical masks. This is definitely something that we might have a hard time relating to. In the United States, we take clean air for granted. In countries like Japan and other countries in Asia, they suffer from air quality issues. This is why people frequently wear surgical masks outdoors. Whether they're commuting or going to the store, it makes sense that vending machines are selling their most highly ticketed accessory in vending machines that cross your path during your everyday journey. These babies distribute masks for all situations, whether you're avoiding pollen or the black smoke coming from China. Number six, puppies. Cat cafes are so last decade. I'll be moving straight into the future where I can calm any and all my anxieties with a push of a button at a puppy vending machine. With this vending machine, I can do that for the low price of $88. The puppies are kept in relatively decent boxes with windows and toys, while spectators choose which one to take home. Sure, it's a little different than choosing between a water bottle and a Fanta, but a beagle versus a pug is a much more fun decision. Of course, a Fanta isn't going to pee on the floor later, but every vending machine has its pros and cons. All I can say is, I'd probably become the male version of a cat lady and come home with four puppies every single day if I had one of these near me. Number five, live crabs. Japan isn't the only cool kid in Asia with cool vending machines. China is also making shopping quicker, even for crustaceans, as seen in this Chinese machine that sells fresh crabs. They're intricate machines because it's not all about taking bills, giving change, and refrigerating soft drinks. The internal temperature has to be an even 41 degrees Fahrenheit to be somewhat humane to the creatures. 
The crabs, at this temperature, stay at a state of hibernation without dying. In fact, the vending company goes as far as to compensate any dead crab you buy with three live ones. Not a bad deal. Number four, toilet paper. This vending machine kind of reminds me of the umbrella one. Just hear me out. You don't approach an umbrella machine unless the clouds are going number one. You don't approach a toilet paper machine unless you need to go number two. It's a per need basis. And if these people aren't <clears throat> charging up the wazoo, literally, for this TP, then they're better humans than I am. Just imagine, you had some dodgy vending machine flying fish soup and now you really have to go. But you know your subway bathrooms are less than hygienic and toilet paper is scarce. What to do? Hit the TP machine. Regardless, I see the future of this vending machine pooping, I mean, working quite well. Number three, lettuce. Number three is so far into the future, I feel like we're in a Black Mirror episode before the horror drops. This vending machine is exactly what it looks like, and it's called the Chef's Farm, and accurately so. It grows 60 heads of lettuce per day inside its super-calculated mini-environment that uses fluorescent light. They're all bright, fresh, green lettuce heads, perfect for any chef who needs a big batch quickly and easily without making a trip to the store. Vending machines for Snickers and Gatorade are too old school. This is the future, and if a head of lettuce will cost me $10, so be it. Number two, live bait. Fishermen seem to be like Boy Scouts, always prepared. However, you'd be surprised how many of them leave many of their supplies at home. It may have been their jaw holder, their line gripper, their, well, I don't know any more fishing accessories. What I do know is that the worst thing to forget at home has to be the bait. You can have all of your fishing gear together, you can get on the water, and you have nothing to make your rod attractive to actual fish. Fear not, fishermen. Just petition your city for a batch of these babies. They're bait vending machines for every fisherman or woman who may forget or run out of bait when the time comes. Need an extra worm or a fly? It's been chilled and prepared for your catch of the day. Number one, gold. Finally, of course, the one thing we all want when we see the shining light of promise from a vending machine across the room. Whether it's at an airport gate, a hospital, a mall, or even a school, we could all benefit from a vending machine full of gold. Is this the brand new Barbie dream house? Not quite. This vending machine in Abu Dhabi will, for a price, give you your own small box of gold to take home. Well, a small black box holding your tiny little bit of gold. The coins can weigh up to 10 grams and, surprisingly, sells to you at the market value, updated every 10 seconds. Maybe this won't get you out of a bind anytime soon, but it's certainly cool. Thanks for watching. What do you think would make a great vending machine? Let us know in the comments section below. Be sure to subscribe, click the bell, like this video, and share it with your friends and family.